Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 24. Now, over the last six months or so, we've seen how you can use autograph to spice up Christmas and Valentine's Day. And this week we're going to look at how we might just give Easter that autograph treatment. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is crack open a three-dimensional graph page. So let's hover up to the top and give that a click. And the next thing we're going to need is to make sure we've got lots of options. So we're going to, at the moment we're in standard mode, so let's get into advanced mode. So go up to view, preferences, general, and let's go advanced level, please. Click OK. Lots more things to play with now. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter an equation into Autograph. And whilst I'm entering it, I would like you to think, what on earth is this equation going to look like? And I'll warn you now, it's a nasty one. So, enter equation. Here we go. Y equals 0.75a, where a is going to be a constant, which when we start will be defined to take the value of 1. I'm going to raise that to the power of x and just pop my x in brackets so we can just make things looking nice and clear. This is where it gets nasty. I'm going to multiply that by the sine of, here we go, cos to the minus 1 of x and just close my final bracket off. What a horrendous equation. Can you picture it? Here we go. 3, 2, 1. OK. And it looks like that. Nasty. Now, um, because we're in three dimensions, that's been plotted using an extra dimension. But for today, what I actually want is to plot this in two dimensions. So if I give that a little double click, and I just click that option, plot as a 2D equation only, then I get that. Now, just a little word of warning here. I'm going to be doing lots of fancy stuff here. And this is more just to give you a little teaser of some of the stuff you can do using Autograph in 3D. For example, using volumes of revolution and planes and all that kind of stuff. So don't worry, I'm going to go into more detail in future weeks. Now, if I just uh, scroll around, I'm just holding down my left mouse button and dragging around there. I get a nice little curve. I'd love to see that a bit clearer, so I'm just going to change my axes. So if I click on Edit Axes, and all these are going to go to kind of minus 2 and 2. So minus 2, 2, minus 2, and 2. Click OK. That's a little bit clearer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that curve. I'm going to right click, and I actually get the option Find Area. Now, again, those of you who have got your kind of A-level hat on will be thinking, oh, this could be pretty useful when we do integration, and you're absolutely right. I'm going to select Simpson's Rule. I'm going to go from minus 1 to 1, and I'm going to click OK. And Autograph has nicely found me the area between the curve and the axes. But I'm going to go further than that. I'm going to put my little uh, snail on here. He's always good. And I'm going to click on my area. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do find volume and I would like autograph to spin me that area around the y equals naught line. Are you ready for this one? Click OK and here he goes creating a lovely, lovely shape. Now you're already probably starting to see the Easter twist here. Uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to sit my lovely egg on a table. So I am going to enter an equation, and the equation I'm going to enter is x equals 1. What's that going to look like? Let's have a look. Lovely. A nice little table for my egg. Um, also, I'm sick of these things around here, this box. I don't like the look of that. So I'm going to click on show bounding box and get rid of that. And I don't want my egg split in two by uh, axes, so I'll click on edit axes. And in options, I want no axes, please. Click OK. Beautiful. But for a final little twist, what happens if you leave your egg out in the sun for too long? Well, this is where the constant that we put into our equation is going to come into its own. If I click on my constant controller, and I ch at the moment my value of a is 1, if I increase the value of a, uh-oh, what is happening here? My egg begins to melt. Now, the final thing I'll show you is because I have to thank Simon Woodhead, one of the autograph developers, uh, for this, because he helped me put the egg together. And what he did, he's a bit of a royal lover, and he's created an egg. And with the forthcoming wedding between William and Kate on Friday, who I know are big autograph fans, he's actually created them an egg. But if I delete what's in, delete the kind of outer shell of his egg, he's actually done them a lovely little pre wedding present inside. Okay, so happy Easter, enjoy the royal wedding, and I shall see you next week. Bye-bye.